All right, y'all, knocking out these videos back to back. So, um, we got another email. This one comes from a young lady. Pretty much her ex-boyfriend told her, you're going to need me. How she said, you're going to need me. He, how she tell it is, the boyfriend told her that you're going to need me before I need you. And it kind of hurt her little feeling. She want to know what she can do. All right, so let's jump into this. So if any time your ex tell you some old goofy ass stuff like that, be like, well, you're going to need me before I need you. What you do? You do nothing. And like, whatever. Because unless your ass can see the future and you can, you're a fortune teller, or you can see, you know, you can, that you got my faith in your hand, you know, faith in your hand and you can determine my next actions and moves. You don't know. You don't know what the fuck I'm gonna need in the future. I mean, you don't know what I need in the future. So the thing is, they're going one ear out the other. Now understand this: the only thing that you need on this planet Earth is God, and that's it. People come and go. People will let you down each and every time. Damn strangers treat you better than your own family members. So when people say goofy stuff like "you gonna need me," no correction. I need nobody. Nobody. All the things that I need, God already granted to me. I have my health. He woke me up this morning to see the sunlight. I can walk. I can think in my right mind. I got all my finger and toes. They're working. I'm not laid up in a hospital room somewhere. What I need you for? Think about it. Think about it. You don't let nobody determine your faith or talk down on you. And you definitely don't go for the disrespect. Like I said before, anybody, this go for anybody disrespecting you, getting in the way of your purpose and goals and your, the ambitions that you set aside for yourself. Anybody getting in the way of that got to go. Now, here's the, the strategy, not strategy. This is what you can do in life in general, and this will help you. Follow these steps, and you'll be good. You won't have to need nobody. First, know what you want. Most people could just drill through life, don't know what they want or what they're doing. They just drill through life. Pretty much the walking dead. Think about what you want to do. What do you want out of life? What do you want to accomplish? When you die, like I said before in pre previous videos, when you die, your life is going to reflect in people's face. They're going to like, well, this person was about this and about that. They ain't did nothing with their time. So one, know what you want. Two, when you figure out what, what you want in life, write it down. Write it down. Write your thoughts down and what you want out of life. Because remember, your thoughts is the, the right thought can lead to your rich happiness, a different lifestyle than what you have now. All you got to do is write it down. Write it down. If you want to be a billionaire, write it down. And the thoughts that come through your head or stuff like that, write those thoughts down. Because one of those thoughts is the right thought. They're going to get you where you need to be. Just write it down and stay focused on it. Step three, tell no damn body. Tell nobody. How we say it in the South. We don't tell our right hand what the left hand is doing or vice versa. But what I'm trying to say is we don't tell other people our business on what we're trying to do. Because they got a lot of copycat ass people out there. Matter of fact, y'all see it on YouTube. Y'all you know. But the thing is, I don't, you know, don't sweat that. But just don't tell people what you're doing. Because the thing is, they'll try to stop it. Because of jealousy, envy, you know, you might even intimidate them. Like, okay, they moving on with life. I'm stuck and all that stuff. Let me come up with a plan to stop it. Remember, your own people will stop you from doing what you need to do. Remember, one of them dudes out of Jesus crew stop his, I mean, stop him for doing what he need to do. But it come out to be a blessing. But the thing is, don't tell people your plans. If you read the Bible, like I say, and stuff like that, just go through the Bible, read the stories, the great stories. The same, if you remember, the same people that were cheering for Jesus were the same people cheering for his death also. Be careful how you tell people your business. Tell them nothing. Remember these three rules. One, know what you want. Two, write it down. Three, tell no one. Plan, plot, strategize, and calculate your life. If somebody say, well, you will never be nothing, just say, well, we'll see. Because my faith and, you know, my future, my life purpose is not in your hands. Remember, when you die, you're going to out on the 
only have to answer to one person. That's it. As long as you got time, energy, purpose, ambition, know what you want in life, nobody can tell you what to do with your life. Now, with that being said, I'm not going to ramble on no more. Um, if you'd like to get in contact with me, you know, send me an email. I'll be here. You know, you can send me an email. You can text me on WhatsApp. Um, you can um, also purchase my audio book, by the way. Thank y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the um the support on my audio books. I really appreciate it. You know, um I don't need a New York bestseller, just as long as you know y'all show me love and all that stuff, I really appreciate it. I greatly appreciate it because I never thought I could do it. God would take uh, you know somebody that you least inspect and turn them into a somebody. If God can make a donkey talk, what he can do with you. Remember, we don't go for disrespect. Just talk to God daily. That's all you need. People come and go. Now, with that being said, take care of yourself. Peace.